All right, rock stars, Thursday afternoon, and if you look just above my shoulder, you can probably tell what store I'm at. And so news broke yesterday, uh, reports, earnings reports, and credit reports for Bed Bath & Beyond were dismal. In the last 12 months, Bed Bath & Beyond stock has lost 55% of its value, over half its value in 12 months. And just in 2018, it's down like 20 or 25%. Somebody check that number for me, but I know it's a lot. And it's because they're not performing and they're not selling stuff. Bed Bath & Beyond is getting crushed. And honestly, guys, this is the way it starts. Three steps. The credit ranking is lowered, which basically means their creditors, people that give them inventory on credit and money, loan companies, will no longer work with them or are very, very, uh, you know, leery about it. Um, their stock takes a tumble, which that has done. And the third step is that the store can no longer bring customers in and total traffic is down across all the stores. So we're gonna go inside, we're gonna take a look at why Bed Bath & Beyond is failing right now. All right, here we are inside of the Bed Bath & Beyond store. This is right when you walk in the front door. And they have their little, basically alcoves of merchandise, each section on and on and on, and then it's separated. So one of the reasons, or two reasons, that they basically said this place is doing so bad is customer service and cleanliness slash organization of the store. So I wanted to come through here and look at the organization of the store and look at you know how easy it is to shop, how clean it is. I come in here, but not often. Um, and then one thing I have noticed is that there's not a lot of sales associates in this store. Um, so we're gonna check on that too. We're gonna like count how many there are, see how easy it is to get help, and see how easy this would be to shop for somebody that's new. So they said a lot of people are going on the internet to shop. Bed Bath and & Beyond and that they offer free shipping if you didn't know that and um, so that's causing their margins to be crushed by everyone going online rather than coming in retail and they're also obviously then overspending on the rent and the electric and all those bills for retail when they're you know selling so much online. So first section we come to after we walk through the main area here is the cook cookware section so they always have these display sections in the middle where all the products are and then, you know, actual products are down below or hanging on the shelves. As you walk through here, you do feel cramped. I've always felt that way when shopping in, you know, Bed Bath & Beyond. You know, stuff hanging over the edges. You know, these, these aisleways are pretty narrow. Um, it's one of the complaints that a lot of people had about the store. And so, you know, this, this is definitely backing that up. And so as we stroll through here, we see cookware. Um, this is quality stuff. A lot of this is quality. They don't sell a lot of junk in here. I'm sure some of this isn't great, but the price is, you know, for the everyday working average American family, I mean, you're talking about a 10 piece set for $200. So $20 a piece. It's not bad. It's a good price for what you're getting. You get what you pay for, but think about what kind of average family can come in here and spend two, three, four, five hundred $500. I mean, this store really is more of an upper class store. I mean, you know, we've got families living off of five and six hundred dollars a week. They're not coming into Bed Bath and Beyond and spending, you know, one fifty nine or one ninety nine or or two hundred dollars plus for kitchenware. I can assure you, they're going to Walmart or Target or something like that. Um, so as we circle around here, they've got the knives. You know, thirty five dollars. You know, I, maybe they come in here, but this is such a specialty store so special and so you know the pricing is what it is because it's special and because it's quality merchandise so i just actually bought myself for our kitchen i bought this exact trash can right here this 40 liter 10 and a half gallon for 49 dollars at walmart i mean look at the price so that gives you like kind of a price comparison idea i literally just bought this same one Obviously, there's some very cool stuff. I mean, where are you going to get an automatic sparkling water maker? Do we need it? No, probably not, but it's very cool um, if you drink sparkling water. Uh, and so you could certainly, this is probably the only place to really get it. Holy crap, look at me. That's called the blooper reel of Rockstar Flipper. I should make a blooper reel for you guys. And of course, in all their stores, all the way up the middle are the middle, you know, racks here of all their... I guess this is the stuff they really want to sell and the specials, so it's just, it is a lot of stuff. It's very overwhelming as far as like the amount of merchandise that they, they literally carry in this store. Look at this. This is a microwave crisper. 
Check that out. This is a section a lot of resellers and a lot of people in this community would probably be excited about. This is the organization and storage section. Um, you know, they've got things like this standing valet, which is kind of cool. I mean, $39, it's on sale, it's clearance. Um, four tier black shelving unit, 500 pounds. Uh, I don't see the price on that, but it's there. Oh, four tier, this might be it, it might be 60 bucks. Um, lots of ways to store clothes. They have the garment racks that you guys could use if you're hanging stuff up. So they definitely, they have some options for things. They don't have a lot of prices. See, this is another issue. There's no price, no price. Like these are not prices. The, the, there's no price. I want to know how much this dual bar garment rack is. It's not there. There's nothing. How do I know? I come over here, look, another set of garment racks, no prices. So this immediately, well, this one has one. This one's $99. This one has no price on it. And this one is $40. So some of them do, it's, it's not easy. It's not easy to see, you know, this bigger one, no price on it. Maybe it's on the box on the back, who knows? It doesn't make things easy when you're trying to shop and figure it out. So um, they sell hangers, of course, but there you go. So there's, there's some, uh, some problems we're finding right off the top. Clothing bins, here's a, here's a great thing here. These clothing bins are $15. You can go to Walmart and buy these bins for like 10. Just like when we were in um, Hobby Lobby, they have you know all these crazy signs that are uh, unique. They have unique ones similar to Bed Bath & Beyond, some different, some the same. Um, we actually own one somewhat like that wine one that hangs in our kitchen. Um, some very nice things that you can buy. Those of you that are Parrot heads can buy the Jimmy Buffett Margaritaville one. Flip flop repair shop, that's pretty cool. There it is up at the top too. Flip flop repair shop, awesome. For all you dog lovers, you can get your dog a lifted 50 pound dog holder for when you're out at the, uh, out at the park, I guess. The dog can chill. How much is this thing? See, again, no price, no price. Oh, there it is, $20. Oh no, that's for this clean pup mat. Clean pup mat, clean pup mat is 20. How much is the, oh, there it is, see? $30, they've gotta fix this. They've really gotta fix this. I may have thought this was 20. This is one of the sections that we do shop in here that we've bought stuff, the china and the dishware and stuff. Now Walmart, Target, obviously cheaper, but we liked the plates that were here. I don't know if they sell ours, but maybe. Um, similar to that, but not 100%. We have some blue and black ones. They're kind of more like this. This is sort of what ours look like. Um, so we really like this stuff. 100 bucks for a 16 piece set. You know, when we moved into the house originally, uh, we bought stuff like that. It's probably time to replace them. We've been in the house almost five years, so. One of the things that Bed Bath & Beyond was really pushing on the site and that I saw in the news stories was the bridal gift registry that they now offer. This is fantastic. This is a way to bring, you know, brides in here and gifts that, you know, they want this stuff, it's expensive. People will buy this for their wedding. Not just the things in this section that you see as I pan around anything in the entire store. I'm in the back of the store, all the way back. Behind me is the registers. I've walked all the way this far, and the first representative I seen was right here. First customer service rep besides at the front cashiers. <clears throat> Not one more uh, associate until I hit this point. Not one. One thing they do well here is the clearance signs are pretty apparent as you walk through. You guys can see them, look, they're hanging Clearance, 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 clearance. So this is our clearance section, and uh, it's pretty prominent. So that is one plus that they do. Of course, this is all bedding that we're in right here. This is the entire bedding section, so this is all the clearance for this section. We'd have to walk down this aisle to see the rest of the clearance, but pretty good job they do of that. So this is something you guys may have seen in another video of mine. I really want one of these. This one's 70 bucks. I'm sure I can get it on Amazon cheaper. But has anybody used this or does anyone have this? Is it worth the 70 bucks for this? 
70 is a lot for one pillow, I gotta be honest. I'll spend it, but I think I can get it cheaper online. Does, I just wanna know if anybody knows if it's worth it. The other one that Kate wanted me to look at, this guy makes pillows in her home state of Minnesota. This my pillow. This is the travel, but I was wondering if anybody had this pillow, like in the normal size. Does anyone have any experience with these pillows or even this true cool something or another? I'd love to know if these are uh, worth spending the money on. I thought this was ironic. It's a a Conair thinner scale. Does this make me thinner when I stand on it? Just by standing on it? Because if it does for 20 bucks and it makes me feel better, I will, uh, I'll will i definitely buy one. <laughs> one of the highest quality items and coolest items that you can get at Bed Bath & Beyond is obviously their, their towels, their bath sets. Um, we own some with our letters on them. We own these towels in the back. They're, uh, is it Wamsutta, Wamsutta? Um, these towels are very nice quality. They do not uh, break down. Chewy got a hold of one of them when he was new, um, one of our black ones, and it took him, we didn't know he had it all night, and uh, you know, when he was new to our house, and he chewed through the corner and was barely able to get through it with everything he, he tried, so they're really good quality. Um, they're 10 bucks a towel, which is fair. You buy yourself, you know, six of these towels, three in each color, and you're all set with six towels, two people, you're good to go. You know, um, for bath towels, that's a good, you know, we already have quite a few bath towels, but we added six nice new ones, and we're probably gonna add six more pretty soon, um, just to have a nice collection of these. This is just for our master bath. We, you know, guest bathrooms, you can go for the cheaper ones. Um, these are the Ultra Softs, they're 15. This might be the ones that we have. Um, I think the Ultra Softs rip a little easier than the uh, than these regular ones, but really good quality towels here at, uh, at um, Bed Bath & Beyond. The resort towels that are 25, we have two of these as well. And I believe we have a set of the hand towels also. I think there's like seven and we have like two sets of these. So we're spending some money on towels, really good quality. I'll give those a thumbs up. I need to buy Kate this because <clears throat> she always listens to music while she's getting ready. It's a vanity speaker mirror thing. It's pretty cool. This is the last section they have here. It's all of the um, as seen on TV and then all of the health and beauty sections that they have. Of course, you know, hair color and cologne and perfume and body wash and shampoos and all the normal stuff you'd find at any store like this up and down these aisles and then makeup at the end. They have an entire travel and trial section which is pretty cool. Travel size everything. Very nice. And as we get to the front of the store we have the grilling section cash registers, and then we have the outdoor furniture, and then back to the front door, uh, which is where I'm probably gonna leave you guys. We'll film again once I walk out. I don't wanna film the, the employees. Now hiring, except there's nothing there. Pretty crazy, right? So that's a walk through our Bed Bath & Beyond. So obviously the organization and the employees need a um, an improvement if they're gonna stick around. Also, one of the complaints I think that I saw was that the stores are old and that they haven't been remodeled in a long time, which is true. I've lived in Florida in this area for 13 years. That store has never changed in all the years um, that I have lived here. And so that's absolutely a fact. They, um, they have not remodeled that store ever. And I've been to the other one that's about 20 or 30 minutes from here and that one's never changed either. So, some work to do for Bed Bath & Beyond, but really bad news, stock down, uh, customer traffic down, prices up, just no sales, really bad shape, and in my opinion, and you guys can mark this down, April, what does it say, April 19th, 2018, Bed Bath & Beyond will be out of business by the end of the year. I highly, highly doubt they're gonna make it through 2018, unless somebody saves them, or they save themselves uh, with some drastic changes. Now, if they don't go out of business, my backup to that will be that somebody will step in and have to save them because they've got no more credit, they got no more money, uh, they've gotta do it on their own now or not at all. So we'll see, they got a lot of improvements they need to make, otherwise it's bad news. So keep an eye on Bed Bath and & Beyond and um, yeah, tell me what you guys think. Did you think it was hard to shop in? Did you think it was 
not set up well? Do you think it needs you know help? What do you think about Bed Bath & Beyond? Let me know in the comments section down below. And as always, thank you guys for watching. Give the video a thumbs up. Make sure you are subscribed to the channel as YouTube has been doing its thing again, booting people out of uh, subscribership on people they subscribe to. Uh, make sure you read the description box below. It has all the links, everything you guys need to follow me, check out my stores, go shopping, all that good stuff. And until next time, I'll see you then. Make sure you tune in tonight, Thursday, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, the live show. Bye, guys.